okay I show you in this video uh, how to control a pendulum uh, in the stable position and also in the unstable position using SILAB, XCOS, RTI and also CCOS lab and CCOS okay uh, this is the pendulum uh, it can be in the stable position here or in the unstable or inverted position here it has a DC motor here uh, used to move the car and it has two encoder sensor one here to sense the car position and one here to sense the pendulum angle uh, this is the input output device uh, it is running a UDP IP server inside and it is connected by Ethernet to this switch uh, this is a wireless access point also connected by Ethernet to the switch so I can connect to the input output device from this laptop by wireless or from this PC by Ethernet. To control the pendulum in the stable position I'll use the PC this PC has Ubuntu 12.04 and to design the control I use SILAB and XCOS let's run SILAB <coughs> this is SILAB 541 I'll run a, a syllab script to calculate uh, some uh, matrices that are necessary for the control. Okay, the, the script is finished. I'll open uh, Xcos with the um, controller diagram. the controller diagram is in this super block uh, let's uh, take a look inside here you can see several uh, super blocks um, blue blocks are input output this is the input block this block get data from a proxy server that I comment later uh, this block this is the output block this block send data to the proxy server red blocks are for several function of the controller uh, this is the reference selector block it can select the reference from the input output device or uh, can select a square referent generated by this block also this block can stop the controller uh, by means of these blocks here this is a linear quadratic regulator block I am using a, an observer and also integral action for uh, tracking the reference uh, inside this block there are the matrices that were calculated uh, with the SILAB script before Uh, this is an actuator compensation block 
uh, this is a deep band uh, block used to smooth the control um, these blocks here are used to compensate the um, static friction of the car and this block is a saturation flock blocks for the DC motor uh, green, green blocks uh, are scope used used to visualize uh, data uh, with RTILAB. I'll comment uh, later when I run RTILAB uh, these uh, scopes. Uh, the frequency of the real time controller will be 500 Hz. Let's compile the diagram. Um, now I'll generate the real time code. I am, see, I am using hard toolbox to generate the real time code. Okay, the um, code generation is finished and it will be in this file. Let's change to other workspace. I'll open two terminal, uh, one terminal for the proxy server here, and other terminal to the real time controller here. To run the controller in real time, I am using a real time application interface. I can show you some information. Uh, about the real-time application interface that is installed in this machine. Also, I can show the scheduler of the RTI at this moment. So, <coughs> uh, I'll start the proxy server in this terminal. The function of the proxy server is to translate the FIFO communication from the real-time controller to the UDP communication from the input-output device. I'll run the real-time controller in this terminal. Okay, the real-time controller and the proxy server are running. Let me show you the pendulum in the stable position. I can disturb the pendulum and you can see how the controller stabilizes the pendulum. I can stop the controller from the switch I can give an initial condition to the pendulum and start the controller again so you can see how the controller uh, works. Uh, I change to the square reference now so you can see how the car follows the reference, the square reference. Okay, let me show you now RTI Lab. So I run RTI Lab. <coughs> okay, this is some disturbing the communication. Uh, this uh, scope show the reference. Uh, in green, the car position in yellow and the observer car position in red. So you can see how the, uh, the car position track the reference. This scope show the pendulum angle in yellow and the observer pendulum angle in red. This scope shows the output of the near quadratic regulator in white 
and the output of the actuator compensation in black and this scope show the round trip time of the UDP messages um, the average time at this moment is uh, a little higher than 1000 microseconds uh, let me change to the uh, input output uh, ref uh, the input output set in the the reference set in the input output device sorry <coughs> so you can see the reference that is stable now I will stop the controller from the switch so you can see here the controller is stopped and I give an initial condition to the pendulum so you can see the oscillation and I'll start the controller again so we can see the performance of the controller in real time here okay now I stop the real time controller in the PC also I stop the proxy server and I change to the laptop to show you mm, the control of the inverted pendulum so uh, in the laptop uh, the laptop has a Ubuntu 904 and I am using in the laptop Cicos lab to and Cicos to design the controller so uh, I'll uh, run a, a Cicos lab a script to calculate some matrices uh, and gains that are used by the controller now I I'll open Cicos with the control diagram the control is inside this super block <coughs> uh, again blue blocks are for input output uh, green blocks are for visualization and red blocks are for different function of the controller this block here um, stop and start the controller uh, when the pendulum is in the upper position and also shift the angle to set the um, zero in the upper position of the pendulum so this is the original uh, angle sensed by the encoder sensor and here is shift uh, 180 degrees and this start the controller when the pendulum is in the upper position uh, this is the linear quadratic Gaussian uh, control uh, I have used an, a Kalman filter uh, here um, there are uh, several matrices that uh, were calculated with uh, a script in Cicos lab and um, for tracking I am using a precompensation pre of the reference uh, ok I generate the real-time code it 
in Sikos is direct from the Sikos, the generation. Okay, the, the real time code in generation is finished and is in this file. And let me change to other workspace. I will open again to terminal, one for the proxy server. and other terminal to the real-time controller I start the proxy server here and it is connected and waiting for the fifth of communication from the controller I start the real-time controller here Okay, the controller and the proxy are running. I show you the pendulum. Remember that the controller is waiting uh, the upper position of the pendulum. Okay. The controller is running, the pendulum is stabilized in the um, unstable position and now I will open Lab in the laptop Okay. Again, this scope show the mm, reference in green, the, um, the car position in yellow, and the observer car position in red. Here is the angle of the pendulum in yellow and the observer angle in red. Um, here is the output of the Mia Quadratic Gaussian in white and the output of the actuator compensation in black and here is the round trip time of the UDP messages uh, it's higher the average time is uh, more than 2000 microseconds because uh, we are using uh, wireless here so let me disturb the pendulum so you can see how the controller works and I will stop uh, the controller and oh, the pendulum uh, stabilize to the stable position okay you can download uh, CLAB uh, um, RTI uh, and also CCOS lab uh, from their website they are open source and free that's all